are many mysterious objects and items on Earth that seem to have come from other planets. To this day, research or accidental excavations continue to reveal new secrets to us, from unidentified mineral composition to remnants of UFOs. You are watching Top Facts, and we have put together a whole series of interesting stories about the most incomprehensible objects that have ended up on our planet. Watch these 20 plots and draw your own conclusions. I wish you a pleasant viewing, and of course, let's go. On the endless icy expanses of Antarctica, a Google Earth satellite captured a peculiar image. There lies a strange large object that has made a trajectory in the ice near the rock of South Georgia Island. UFO enthusiasts immediately took up this intriguing case. A long object resembling a cigar seemed to have fallen from the sky and slid across the snow. They assumed that its length was at least 157 feet, and this object collided with the slope of a mountain in the south. Could this be a UFO crash scene? By its contours, it indeed resembles a ship from another world. Plus, Antarctica is one of the most isolated places on the planet, and it could well serve as a convenient parking spot for space transport. Despite scientists' skepticisms, the imagination easily paints such a fantastic picture. Early in the morning on September 19, 1976, something extraordinary happened in Tehran. In the sky above the capital of Iran, near the airport, an unidentified flying object appeared, and people immediately began reporting it, with services being inundated with a flood of calls. Descriptions varied. Some said the object looked like a bird, others compared it to a helicopter, and yet others claimed it emitted an extraordinarily bright light. Radar observations and visual reports created a real confusion. Two Iranian Air Force fighters were scrambled, and the pilots visually confirmed the presence of the UFO. As the intercepting aircraft approached the unidentified object, they began to experience significant malfunctions to their instruments and communication. All systems started to fail. And this was not an isolated incident. As reported by airlines and by the military, as soon as the planes left the vicinity of the UFO, all onboard instruments continued to function normally. This incident stands out as one of the most well-documented, corroborated by video footage and eyewitness accounts. The authorities did not disclose any specifics, but we have seen it, haven't we? Today's top topic is one of the most alarming objects that clearly did not originate from this planet. A man during his drone flight discovered this strange ruin in the middle of a clear field. He claimed to have stumbled upon the remains of a huge space crash. At first, he could not believe his eyes, but then he started to search the internet for what a damaged piece of satellite or a rocket looked like. He walked around the crash site again, took photos, returned home, and immediately wrote about his find. Surprisingly, when he returned, the mysterious debris had mysteriously disappeared. We will never know whether it was an alien shipwreck or an earthly ship. But some institution clearly preempted the spread of information. What do you think it looks like? In 2021 in the Dead Sea, a mineral was found that came from space. Obviously, it could have arrived as part of a meteorite that broke into pieces. This type of mineral was first discovered about 20 years ago, and it had a strange phosphorus oxide content. In this form, it is not found in nature on our planet. Naturally, scientists were intrigued. Another fact revealed by the chemical composition that this mineral comes from an area of very high pressure, confirming its origin in somewhere in the extreme conditions of outer space. The Allen Hills 84001 meteorite, weighing about 4.4 pounds, was discovered in 1984 in Antarctica. It is estimated to be a piece of an ancient Martian rock about 4 billion years old. Scientists found traces of organic carbon in its composition, sparking a major rhetorical debate about, is there life on Mars? How are these findings related? Organic carbon suggests that the possible presence of water in the history of the Red Planet, and where there's water, there might be life. Scientists also examined the meteorite for fossilized remains of microbial life. However, critics claim that after the meteorite fell to Earth, 
it could have been contaminated with earthly elements, therefore it did not conclusively tell us about life on Mars. A Russian lad named Boris Kuprianovich caused a real stir with his messages about how he used to live on Mars. Fantasizing children are not uncommon, but from an early age, Boris began to tell his parents about life on Mars. About how the planet had undergone a catastrophic war, their technologies, and space travels. His stories were not limited to Mars. He also spoke of ancient civilizations on Earth, lost continents, and secret knowledge. This story makes us ponder the mysteries of the universe. Although we cannot take Boris's word for it, we cannot deny the possibility of life on other planets. A 55-year-old man named Radek Laik claimed that he became a target of extraterrestrials. A series of meteorite impacts regularly crashed into his home. It sounds absurd, but when you hear his story, questions arise. This quirky saga began in 2007, and until 2010, Lake's home was attacked not once or twice, but six times. Each strike added to his conviction that he was chosen. Experts confirmed that the stones bombarding his house were indeed meteorites. But how could one home become a constant target for meteorite attacks? Or did the homeowner cleverly advertise his collection to sell? He indeed made some money by selling these stones, but whether a new batch will land in his garden is unknown. On a summer night in 1977, the Ohio State University's telescope, known as the Big Ear, detected a signal that became one of the most intriguing mysteries in their search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It was recognized as a strong narrowband radio signal. It was very intense and lasted for 72 seconds. There were signs of its interstellar origin. Researcher Jerry Amon was so struck by the characteristics that he wrote, wow, on the printout with the signal's parameters. Originating from the depths of space, could it be an attempt at conscious communication? The signal came from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, from the center of our galaxy. This place has a high potential for the probable existence of advanced civilizations there. However, scientists first tried to find evidence of its natural cosmic origin or explained it by reflections or signals from space debris. Either way, the signal remains a unique event. Since that August night, it has never been repeated. In 1967, scientists Jocelyn Bell Bernal and Anthony Hewish, listening to the cosmos, stumbled upon a revolutionary discovery in astronomy. Usually, regular radio waves were emitted from a distant star that had not been observed in the sky before. These pulses were new and so precise that they raised an unusual speculation. Could it be some kind of signal, an attempt at communication, coming from another intelligent extraterrestrial civilization? The team of researchers humorously dubbed these signals as a message from a little green man. A more plausible explanation emerged. These signals were coming from a pulsar, a rotating neutron star. Neutron stars are dense remnants of a massive star that exploded. Electromagnetic radiation from their poles reaching the limits of Earth appears as pulses of radio waves. Which explanation do you prefer? If you've not yet heard of this legend about the UFOs and the actions of the aliens on our planet, then the story of the Black Knight is the most suitable beginning. In the 1950s, various messages about an unidentified object in orbit began to appear, and there was unexpected surprises there. Unlike any of the known flying objects to science, only in the 1960s was it possible to photograph it during a space flight, which caused a new wave of theories and rumors. Some insisted that the unidentified object was a marvel of alien technology and was observing Earth. However, upon closer examination, the outline of the Black Knight suggested a more pragmatic explanation. It resembled a thermal blanket lost during a space flight, one of those that protected equipment from rays. So the strange signals initially attributed to the Black Knight can be considered either space debris or a natural phenomenon. But the myth of the wanderer in the desert ocean still sounds more interesting and intriguing. 
Here, we have one of the most mysterious visitors to our orbit. The object named Aumuamua was identified as an interstellar comet. However, its unusual characteristics soon distinguished it among typical comets or asteroids. Its elongated shape was absolutely atypical for all those aliens we know, and hypotheses about its origin and nature immediately arose. Could it be a spacecraft controlled by alien beings? Another curious feature was its acceleration. It seemed to fly from the direction of the Sun in an absolutely typical comet manner. They accelerate due to the gas release of volatile substances. However, no visible evidence of gas release from it was found. Then what was this strange object riding on? Imagine something similar to a jet plane, which leaves a visible trail in the air. In general, the object looked as if it was powered by a force from within. Although scientists lean towards its natural origin, who knows, maybe this alien probe is just well camouflaged. In a coal mine in Donetsk, people stumbled upon something mysterious, buried in the earth at a depth at about 3,280 feet. The curious artifact was a metal wheel, but it wasn't just any wheel. First of all, it was estimated to be an astonishing 300 million years old. However, by design, such an object could only be a product of advanced engineering. How was it possible in that period? The find baffled many and gave rise to wild assumptions. How could it be a metal part that was deliberately created 300 million years ago when there was no humans on Earth yet? Could there be some other race that lived here before us? or aliens that ruled here before us. Dogu figurines are world-renowned ancient Japanese clay creations, and in Japanese, Dogu translates to spacesuit. Their appearance is almost otherworldly. Large goggle-like eyes, a slim waist, and bodies covered in intricate patterns. This has led to numerous interpretations of the origin and meaning. For some, these peculiar features suggested a resemblance to beings from another world. Indeed, could these be the first depictions of extraterrestrials dating back to a period in Japanese history from 13,000 years before the Common Era to 300 years before the Common Era? These fascinating events unfolded in the 1950s in a small town in the state of New Jersey, which became a hot spot for alien enthusiasts. The central figure of this story was Howard Menger, a man who presented himself as a contactee. This term refers to an individual who claims to have communicated with friendly extraterrestrials and even visited their ships. Howard even wrote books about it. He and his wife Connie described their encounters with extraterrestrials as a positive and pleasant communication experience. It is unproven whether Howard's experience are genuine events or another hoax which were plentiful in America at that time. This ancient device, found in Greece, appears to be a marvel of engineering, thought invented long before modern computer technologies. Divers exploring a shipwreck near the island of Antikythera were intrigued by the device. Could it be part of an ancient analog computer used for astronomical calculations about the movements of planets and eclipses? or for navigation. This is the first discovered example of such complex mechanisms. It seems so advanced for its time of origin that it raises suspicion. If it's not a creation of the ancient Greeks, could it be a product of a more advanced extraterrestrial civilization? Perhaps this component is tangible evidence for historians and archaeologists that all of our ancient ancestors' technology might not be known to us. Another fascinating puzzle from the supposed ancient mysteries, the story of the Dropa Stones emerged in the 20th century. In China, a series of round polished discs were found, which are claimed to be thousands of years old. A legend surrounds them, alleging that the discs contain undeciphered messages. In the 1930s, a Chinese archaeologist discovered the stones in the mountains on the border of China and Tibet. The polished stones were about 12 inches in diameter, with a spinal groove running from the center on the surface of each, in which a series of tiny hieroglyphs were carved. 
In the 1960s, a mystification arose about an extraterrestrial race named the Dropa, who landed on Earth after crashing their flying ship. They were described as miniature fragile humanoids with large heads. Supposedly in Tibet, a burial site of about 700 unearthly beings were found near the places where the stones were discovered. Today, reliable evidence has not been published, but research by a Russian scientist showed that the granite disks contained a high concentration of cobalt and other metals. They are incredibly heavy in weight. So how could ancient people carve such small grooves and letters on their surface? In the 1970s, a book was written that combined fantastic fiction with known information about these disks. But to this day, light has not been shed on the mystery of the Dropa Stones. After all, who brought these disks up the mountains of Tibet? This looks like a system of an ancient pipeline located in the Chinese province on Mount Baigongshan. These pipes are made of iron and come in various sizes, some of them small as a toothpick, while others are large enough to walk through. What makes them so intriguing is their age and location. They are believed to be thousands of years old and seem to form some sort of deliberate project. What can be said about them? Were they formed naturally, or are we looking at evidence of an ancient advanced civilization that we know nothing about? It was suggested that these pipes were part of an irrigation system or a prehistoric construction, but what's unclear is that they are located in a very unusual and inaccessible place. A more plausible hypothesis is that they are the remains of extraterrestrial activity. Adding some scientific data, geologists have studied the pipes and have stated that they are actually fossilized tree roots. Over time, the organic material turned into minerals with a tubular structure. Another explanation is that the iron-rich water flowing through the pipes leaves a sediment that hardens and encases the pipes. The stone statues named Moai on Easter Island are an archaeological enigma lost on a patch of island amidst the ocean. These colossal figures were the first to greet the European explorers in the 18th century. This resource-poor island was the most peculiar place for such architecture. The local inhabitants, judging by the findings of their skulls, were small in structure and number. How were they able to erect such a multitude of sculptures across the island and even send them into the ocean? The number has been clarified. Archaeologists have determined that the Rapa Nui people carved these figurines between 1250 and 1500. But the second question remains unsolved. Why did they make these statues, and how were they able to carve them out of hard, compressed volcanic ash? Were they idols of ancestors or spirits of a land? In any case, it's considered a titanic feat at its time. The intrigue lies in the hypotheses of how the statues were transported, vertically using ropes or carried on wooden sleds. Religious or hereditary symbolic purposes compelled the people to continue production. About 10,000 Moai figures guard Easter Island, but nowhere else in the world is there anything like it. So could these heads have been created with the help of extraterrestrial beings? Do you suspect the same? Thanks to Google Earth and Google Maps, we are discovering more and more mysterious places on the planet. What do these incomprehensible zigzag patterns that were discovered in satellite photos in 2011 tell us. Complex grid patterns in the desert have sparked a lot of discussions, including proponents of the theory of messages from aliens. Given their precise contours and unnatural appearance, it is unlikely that such strange markings were made by farmers. The entire extensive artificial field resembles a tablet for spy satellites. In any case, both theories, a message from extraterrestrial civilizations or spy passions, did not promise anything good. These lines of zigzags are about 3 feet in width, stretching for about 300 feet, and to read such a message, one would undoubtedly need to ascend high. What if aliens were indeed trying to communicate with us in the only language available to them? If you think we missed another discovery, feel free to share it in the comments. And that's all for today. Don't forget to rate the video and watch or dislike 
leave a couple of comments and consider subscribing to the Top Facts channel. Thank you all for watching, and here are two previous episodes waiting for your viewing.